in this set of videos i'm demonstrating how to use your printer head when all you have is five nozzles so how to print with five color nozzles in the previous example we had discussed how to print with five color nozzles when black is not working uh, there's a link to that video in my channel you can look it up and find that but in this video i'm going to cover a scenario where cyan is what is missing so quickly let's restore the printer head to the previous state that it was which is kcc mmy like this this would be the general configuration of the printer head but now in this scenario cyan is missing which is this particular cyan so now what do you do when cyan is missing right one cyan so now let's take for instance this particular cyan is missing so k c c m m y so now we're looking at what happens when cyan is missing so first and foremost we need to do a nozzle test before we do that let's quickly do a manual pump now we're doing the nozzle test now you can see in this test we have yellow we have magenta magenta cyan cyan and black and we said in this case this cyan goes missing which is this particular cyan how do you fix this kind of problem well if you have a scenario like this where this cyan is what is missing the best thing to do is going to be determined by what is the configuration on your a tools now if the configuration on your a tools is k capital letter c small letter c capital letter m small letter m capital letter y then you don't have to do anything because this particular cyan is the slave cyan in the previous video where i demonstrated when black was bad we said that if the letter is small it is a slave color which means the capital letter takes precedence over the small letter color now so if this color is what is missing and in your case it is a small c as we will see soon on a tools then you don't have to do anything all you need to do is to print now we we'll demonstrate that by taking this out like we had done in the previous video and then we we'll block up that hole with this stud right so in that case now we're not feeding that nozzle with magenta which is basically about the same thing as when your nozzle is burnt or when your nozzle is fried or whatever maybe the, the nozzle is not supplying properly for whatever reason we're not discussing why that may happen most of the time it can be an electronic problem or it can just be that that nozzle is blocked because you have not used it in a while but whatever the reason is we shall know that it is blocked now if you do your manual pump a little manual pump because my tank is already full and then we'll do clean now note cyan is not there which is exactly the same thing as your cyan is fading or that the entire line is not showing the same thing so now we've blocked it up now we're doing a nozzle test now if you look at that nozzle that cyan is not coming out so this is the scenario we're discussing either it is empty like this or totally blank or it is faded we shall have problem with this line so what do you do i said provided the capital letter c is here and not here you don't have a problem but if the capital letter c is here and then the small letter c is here then you need to swap the capital letter c from here to this place now let's go on a tools and you'll see the practicality of what i'm saying now when a tools password for this place is 16753 press yes now this is what i'm saying in our configuration the first letter is k which is the black it's showing properly the second is the capital letter color the main color this capital letter color is your cyan you see this small letter color is your secondary cyan your machine can print without this particular color this capital letter m is your maximum magenta this small letter m is your secondary magenta 
this capital letter Y is your major Y. The good part is K and Y all have only one single color, so they are both capital letter. But the C is a small letter color, and then the magenta is a small factor color, which means the, the strength of that color is diminished a bit so that you can get a good production output. Now, in this case, since cyan is here, and cyan is the one that has a problem, don't bother yourself at all, just print. You don't have to touch anything in the machine because this is the nozzle that was bad, as you have seen, right? But you see, if it is this particular nozzle that has a problem, that is the nozzle, the second nozzle from the, from the left, if that's the nozzle that has a problem, then that is where the capital letter C is. What you would have done is that you cut it off and then you put it here to swap. So that's basically how you do it. It's a lot easier. So what I'm saying in essence is, look, if your capital letter color is in the spot that is damaged, burnt, fading, or disappeared, then you swap the capital letter color with the place that is not burnt. That is very, very vital. So make sure the spot where your capital letter CN is, is where is the nozzle that is working properly. Once you do that, you don't have a problem. All you need to do is just go ahead and print. And I'm going to demonstrate a print with this setup for you in a minute. Now we're going to print the exact same file that we had a prop that we printed previously, which is this green file. And then you will see that since we have printed it before, the colors should be basically the same thing without no change. I'm just going to send it now. So watch the print and notice if there is any visible difference. Can you see that there is no difference? Good. So that's pretty much what I was saying. And in the previous video where I demonstrated if black had a problem, I already showed you that if you mistakenly put the small letter cyan in the position of the place that doesn't have a problem, you're going to have this color and that will be a terrible issue for you. So I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, I'm going to cover magenta and I'll show you pretty much the same thing. The reason I'm doing these videos individually now is so that if somebody asks me, I can just give them that particular video. In the past, I used to say, well, I have a video in that Jerisco, use your brain. But in this case, I'm just going to do it for you so that you can take the precise video you need and work for your own unique situation. So I hope it has helped. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.